So the Stargazer Orion passenger version purchased in June of 2011. The Titov C purchased in September of 2010. Carving on the back side indicates this was created in 2004. And today it's January 2016. Hey everybody, Model Man here, and I'm going to be building the Stargazer Orion 3 space plane and the Aleutian Titov C, both as seen in 2001 Space Odyssey. Where was the Aeroflot spotted? Actually, it's inside the space station. Shots of it were cut out of the final film docking, such as that represented there. And the Orion, both in 1 1 scale. I'll be doing some lighting and adding some figures to this guy. This one here, I don't know that I'll be able to do it, but let's take a look. Both of them will be displayed together on a single pine round, which we'll get to towards the end of the series. First up, let's get into washing the kit. Alright, so what I got here is uh, my bucket I'm going to soak things in. Do the flats first, I suppose. Good non toxic one is Simple Green. This stuff is called LA's Totally Awesome. Uh, green cleaner, something along those lines. Essentially, it's simple green for a dollar instead of three to five dollars. I've got a number of buckets of this, as and it. This is also a good enamel paint stripper. So as I strip paint, I filter it between buckets and get nice big piles of nothing less than pure silt at the end, essentially. I want all the pieces submerged. There, so now I'll take all the silt from this one, mix it over into this other one. Then all this clean stuff I'll pour back into a brand new bucket. And it looks like I could use one more container. Oh yeah, that sludge. When this stuff gets really, really thick, then I weed that out eventually and the cycle continues. Now at this point all these parts are definitely submerged. I want to shake them around to make sure they get nice and coated. The wings are touching the floor, for example, so I want to get those stirred up. <coughs> so there we go. Let me seal this up, and that's it for now. 24 hours from now, we'll see. So having spent 12 hours in the green bath, I then threw it for 12 hours into a dish soap bath and then scrubbed each piece clean until it felt like there was no more slippery uh, surfaces anywhere and everything didn't quite squeak but once your finger drags along the resin you'll know that area is finally clean. If your finger slides along the outside while you're running water over it with soap then it's still dirty. Usually a petroleum type adhering to the surface and that's going to cause you problems not only with the painting but with the gluing as well in some cases. So these have all been drying for a few hours now. I want to get them laying flat such as this guy here. One of the very delicate things to do when you're washing is making sure you don't damage parts. Resin is very easily damaged. So when I am dealing with smaller or uh, delicate parts, such as the chairs in there, I press a sponge against the surface rather than running it against the surface. 
against a surface like this, I'll run a scrubby sponge across it with no issues. But towards the back here, those will snap on you, and you don't want that. So at this point, it's just pulling both the uh, parts out. There's some flashed clean on the windows. There's going to be some preparation work. Some pieces I can glue together, some I can't. Let's get into it. <laughs> 